Giuliani is just a weird cat. Uh, there's no other way to put it. Um, he's getting involved in the Virginia gubernatorial race by uh, posting a completely unconvincing attack on the Democrat in the race, Terry McAuliffe. Now he's doing it with an interesting filter. I don't want to give too much away, so let's take a look. Virginia, vote against the man who dishonored our past by selling my bedroom hundreds and hundreds of times to scoundrels in a pay for play scheme in my time. We had a name for men who sold bedrooms for one night. In your time, the name is Terry McAuliffe and the Clinton fleas once and for all. Cool. What? That, that's America's mayor, um, almost president. <laughs> someone in his family needs to lock him in a basement. Mm-hmm. Like he's just, there was a point, like he peaked in his career at one point, like mm-hmm. genuinely, like everyone, I mean, even some Democrats took him seriously. You didn't have to like him, but he was always applauded for the way he handled, you know, yeah. 9 11. No one can really still cite what it was that he no, did. It's he didn't not like do he can anything. say 10 things what that he did. He did. But people were scared or whatever, and he went there and took photos. I'm sure he did some <laughs> stuff or whatever, but like, um, yeah, he sure has fallen. Very far since then. I have to assume that because it's like kind of an ad, I'm guessing he got paid. I like, is it better or worse if he got paid? If he did that for free, better. Like, who is that (laughs) convincing? So it's obviously not going to convince a liberal or a progressive or a sane person. So what is it supposed to like fire up the base? Like, yeah, you know, Terry McAuliffe, he's a Democrat. He might become the governor of my state. I wasn't really invested in it for policy reasons. But yeah, there is this conspiracy theory from the 90s. So I guess I'll vote. Yeah, so look, I don't really care, but I'll fill you guys in with the context. So mm-hmm. Giuliani is referring to a controversy in the early 1990s in which the Bill Clinton administration was accused of renting out the Lincoln bedroom in the White House to campaign contributors. So what does this have to do with Terry McAuliffe? Well, Terry McAuliffe worked in the Clinton White House at the time, but fact checkers have debunked the frequently repeated claim by Republicans that McAuliffe was the mastermind of the scheme. Or that it happened hundreds of times. And by the way, if it happened once, it's weird and disgusting. Mm-hmm. I said this morning on the TDR pre-show that I would hate it if you know if Trump had done it once. It sucks, but let's also not pretend that what is firing up Rudy Giuliani is pay-for-play schemes. One hundred percent. The dude hates when politicians make money off of the stuff they're doing. No, but that's the that's the thing. I mean, the holier-than-thou nonsense. It's like. Bro, you went around pretending as if the election was stolen from Donald Trump. Yeah, but now he's on the That stadium. was your grift. <laughs> that was your grift. Yeah. Like, shut up, right? So that's why I say it's better that he's getting paid. Like, mm-hmm. to clown yourself for free is definitely worse. Yeah. yeah. Right? At least there's some logic behind embarrassing yourself. And, and the thing is, paid. honestly, considering his cameo rates, I doubt he got paid that much. How much, How much is he getting paid on Cameo? I think originally it was like 150 bucks, and then like after a bunch of stories went up about how embarrassing that was, it was raised to like 300. It might be three or 400 or something like that. Remember, he was he was a mayor of like the biggest city in America or whatever, um, and he was almost a Republican nominee for president. And now he's doing it for oh 300 God. bucks. So like, if I wanted him to do one with a cat face, what do I do? I have to pay 400 bucks? Like what? All right. How much does each face cost at this point? I, I doubt it's much. All right, this is the part of the story where I now transition to saying things that make me sound like an old lady. Well, what what are these face filter things? Oh my god! Like what is oh this? I, I hate I hate all of it. I hate all of it. It's I don't understand it. It's unnecessary. It's not cute. It's mm-hmm. not funny. I think it's annoying. Like we don't need filters. We don't need face filters. I disagree. Let's end it. Let's end it now. Is it mm-hmm. like this? Is is this the innovation that we can expect from Silicon Valley capitalism? Really? Mm-hmm. This is the innovation. Come on. Yeah, by the way, I guarantee every bit of these this filter technology is designed around very carefully mapping your facial features. 100%. Um, but God, anyway, everyone always gets tricked into like 
providing free research and labor uh -huh. to these companies. Sure, that said, I don't have a problem with the filters. No, I, I think that, that they're fun. I, I also hate FaceTime. What? But that's just face calls. What's the problem? I mean, I don't have an it's iPhone invasive. or whatever. It's but super invasive, and then you feel like a jerk when you don't answer the FaceTimes. Like I hate. That's FaceTime. true. I hate phone calls too. Why yeah, should I give you my voice? Yeah, yeah, I think the only appropriate form of communication is email and text messages. That's I it. I think paper, typewritten letters. Sure. Because I, I don't like even want to write because that's Dude. too personal. Dude, <laughs> can you imagine? Just hit a piece of metal and then a different piece of metal. I want to be like six pieces of metal removed. Mm -hmm. No, me too. <laughs> Sorry. Can yeah, you imagine no, but I'm, seriously. Like, I, I was actually thinking about this and conversing about it with Jenk yesterday. Reporters back in the day, like the Walter Cronkites of the world, they don't, they didn't have Twitter, uh -huh. right? Like no one had direct communication or contact with these people. Mm -hmm. Like maybe they'd get a handwritten letter here and there, but like, yeah, think about how great that. Is. Yeah, look, <laughs> there, there's obviously like feedback, pros and cons. Yeah, uh, I like feedback yeah. when it's nice. I like feedback when it's constructive. I actually really like constructive feedback. Sure. But that's not what you're gonna get these days with Twitter or Facebook yeah, or yeah. YouTube comments or any of it, or e even email. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.